Let me just get my donut. Mmm, smells like church. My name is Lisa Cotter, and this is Ascension Presents. As Catholics, we take that third commandment to honor the Sabbath pretty seriously. In fact, it's required of us that we go to Mass every single Sunday. But as we all know, Mass can be a little distracting. We zone out, we start writing to-do lists, there's that adorable baby perched up on their mother's shoulder who is smiling at us so, so sweetly, and we just get distracted. So what I have for you today are seven hacks to help you stay more engaged during Mass. Hack number one to help you stay engaged at Mass. Pre-read the readings. The readings at Mass are incredibly intentional. In fact, no matter what Mass you go to anywhere in the world on any given Sunday, the exact same readings will be read. You see, the readings are chosen to fit with either the feast day that we're celebrating that day or with the liturgical season that we're currently in. And the Old Testament and the Gospel reading, they typically go together. There's something in the Old Testament that's hidden, and in the Gospel reading, it's being revealed. Now, even if you can't get to reading all of them, I at least suggest you glance over what the responsorial psalm is, that one sentence that we say over and over again as we're doing the responsorial psalm. That little phrase typically sums up the theme of the entire Mass. If you can at least get to that and start thinking about it and meditating on it, it's going to help you to better engage with the those readings and better be prepared. And that way, even if you do get distracted during Mass, or even if you do have a toddler who's asking you 20 questions, you'll be able to jump right back in when it comes time for the homily without missing a beat. Hack number two, bring a Mass journal. A Mass journal is simply a notebook that you bring along that allows you a place to put down your thoughts. Now, there's really no wrong way to use a mass journal, but I think there's two great things that you should always put down if you bring one along. The first one is, what is one thing that stuck out to you during that particular mass? Maybe it was something from a song. Maybe it was something from the readings. Maybe it was something from the homily. Whatever it is that struck you, write that down so you don't forget that little gem. The second thing that I would suggest you put in your mass journal is a resolution. What are you going to do as a result of this time at Mass today? You see, the Mass should always be leading us out. It should always be something that moves us. It moves us to make a change in our life. And so if you're being intentional about it and you're thinking about it, what is that one thing that I wanna do as a result of this Mass? If you write it down, it's gonna help you be more likely to follow through with that resolution. Hack number three for staying engaged at Mass is to listen for the name of Jesus. And when you hear it, bow your head. In Philippians 2.10, it tells us that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Well, in the 13th century, Pope Gregory X began to get worried that people were not really reverencing the name of Jesus like they should. And so, after the Council of Lyon, he had this to say. He said, We wish that at the Holy Sacrifice, everyone would bow his head to token that interiorly he bends the knee of his heart. Now, this isn't something that's required of us as Catholics, but it is something that can help you stay engaged while you're at Mass. If you're listening for that name of Jesus so you can bow your head, you're going to be paying much better attention. Hack number four, make a mental offering. Sometimes I think when we get to Mass, we kind of see the offertory as like halftime. It's like the time to stretch, use the restroom, take out a fussy kid. This is the time to get done whatever you need to get done before we move into the second half of the Mass, the Liturgy of the Eucharist. But actually, we really want to use this time intentionally. You see, at every Mass, we're given the opportunity to offer up our Mass, to offer up the sacrifice that we are making and joining in the Mass for an intention, for a person, for a situation, maybe something even personal that's going on in your life. And so this is a great time when it comes time for the offertory to be thinking about what do I want to offer to the Lord today at this Mass? And then when those gifts come down the aisle, Take a moment and mentally offer that with those gifts. Send it up the aisle to the altar to be united with the sacrifice of Jesus, to be united with his suffering. Number five, after Mass is done, stay for a moment and say a prayer of thanksgiving. I know it can be easy to kind of want to rush out and just get going with your day. Maybe you've got sports events or things that you're going to in the afternoon. 
but it's really important to stop and pause and say thank you to the Lord. Now you can simply do this by just saying a prayer from your heart, thanking him for the gift of the mass, thanking him for the graces that you received, asking him to pour out his graces upon you. Or you can also say some traditional prayers. There's really great traditional prayers that are typically said after mass. Things like the St. Michael the Archangel prayer or the Hail Mary or the Hail Holy Queen are three great examples. As a family, we always pray together after mass and we always end our time with a litany to all of the saints that our kids are named after and that are the namesakes of both Kevin and I. And it's a great way just to finish out that time. Hack number six for staying engaged at mass is to stay for donuts. Listen, communion is a communal act. And so if you want to be engaged at mass, you need to be engaged with your community. You need to get to know those people who are sitting around next to you, those people in the pew in front of you or behind you. So stick around, get to know them, have a conversation and become more aware of your community. And number seven, while this is not really so much a hack because it's a little bit more work, I would suggest picking up A Biblical Walk Through the Mass by Dr. Edward Shree. This is a fantastic book. It walks you through everything that's happening at the Mass. If you wanna be able to engage with the Mass, you need to better understand what's happening. You need to understand what are these words that we're saying? What are these gestures we're doing? All of that has biblical roots to it, and this book lays it all out there for you. So if you pick it up, you read it through, the next time you come to Mass, you're gonna have light bulbs going off going, oh, that's why we're doing what we're doing. And it's gonna help you stay more engaged. So there you have it, my seven hacks for Mass, seven hacks to help keep you more engaged. Here's my challenge for you. Pick one of these seven hacks, whichever one, and implement it next time you go to Mass. Just one, don't overwhelm yourself. Don't try to do all seven at once. Pick one, if it goes well, then do it again the next week. If it doesn't, then pick a different one. Whatever it is that's gonna help you stay engaged, that's what I suggest you do. Know of my prayers and be saints. It's worth it.